O'Reilly Factor, the number one cable news show for 15 years and counting. Thanks for watching this special edition of the O'Reilly Factor, the war on terror. I'm Chris Wallace, in for Bill O'Reilly. And in the unresolved problem segment tonight, how to stop terrorists from entering the U.S. The San Bernardino attack is sparking calls for tougher visa and refugee restrictions after it was discovered the female shooter was allowed into this country on what's called a fiancé visa in 2014. A major standoff between President Obama and congressional Republicans is now brewing over that issue. Tell me if I'm misstating it. He's such a fanatic, Senator, that he's willing to shut the government down to keep the flow of the Muslim refugees coming. Fanatical. That's a, that's that a fanatical a deal. That is, uh, and the Republicans, once that's explained to the American people, I think they'll overwhelmingly um, blame the president correctly for refusing to uh, deal with this uh, crisis. Joining us now from New York, immigration attorney Michael Wilds, along with Mike Gallagher, a Fox News contributor and radio talk show host. So, uh, Mr. Wilds, the wife in this case, Tashfeen Malik, uh, came into the U.S. on what's called a K-1 visa, foreign fiancé of an American citizen who intends to get married within 90 days. Mr. Wilds, how much of screening is involved in that? Tremendous amount of screening. Thank you, Chris, for having me on. There are biometrics. There are all sorts of bona fides of the legitimacy of the marriage since the 1980s and 90s when there were Russian mail order brides. The State Department cracked down. It takes you effectively about nine months. You need to get police clearances from every country you ever lived in for more than six months. And that's where we have a blind spot. Somebody who visits Syria or Saudi Arabia for a few weeks or months and becomes radicalized might slip through the cracks. But nobody's getting a K-1 visa with the prayer of getting in after being vetted by State Department consul officials almost a year later, if only there are easier ways to sneak into this country with our poorest borders. This visa well, let, me, is let, me, let me bring in Mike Gallagher at, at this point. Uh, Mike, uh, that is a lot more screening than a lot of people coming into this country get. We'll get into that in a moment. Would you and the K-1 visa? Listen, Chris, I'm not sure the American people are interested in the, the nuances of the K-1 visa program. Uh, you know, the, the government says that strict and vigorous screening procedures are in place for, for immigrants, for refugees. This is precisely why there's been such pushback over the Syrian refugee issue. Americans are compassionate, but that doesn't mean we're stupid. And that doesn't mean that you're going to leave the door wide open or not ask about the identity of somebody who's coming in the door. And at the end of the day, the only solution to this is a political solution. It's why Donald Trump is faring so well, because of his tough talk on immigration. It, he's done it from day one, and it's why you know he, he's enjoying such success. The American people are fed up. We have a president last night who was saying, listen, we, we're, we're looking at this still as a possibility of workplace violence. you got to be kidding me. This right. has to change, and there's going to be yeah, a sea but change. Mike, but Mike, let's let, there's a much bigger hole in the system, much bigger than the refugees, much bigger than K-1, and that's the, the visa waiver in which people from... Sure. A bunch of countries, dozens of countries, especially in Europe, can come into this country without any up, screening at up, all. Isn't that a much bigger days. problem? Up to 90 days they can come in on a visa waiver. Look, our founding fathers were f facing sedition and pirates on the high seas. We seem to react now to shoe bombers and underwear bombers and now the radicalization on the women's side of the ledger. We cannot be facing, responding to terrorists. America, like the state of Israel, really has to be out there first and ferreted out this cancer and stop and, it. And but the visa waiver, I'm sorry, Mike, the visa waiver program you, would curtail business. We have U.S. Marines, right, well, by I, the way, I, getting K-1 get visas. Point. And, and let me ask Gallagher about that, because, you know, there, there are millions of tourists who come from those countries on, under the visa waiver. You're going to just shut the door? You can't shut the door, but there's nothing wrong with greater scrutiny. It's why Senator Cruz is asking for, for a full disclosure about the path that this woman took to come into the United States. All Republican candidates are asking for is scrutiny, deeper scrutiny and, 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 and a more sophisticated way to say we're not going to have open borders. Let's face it, there's a lot of liberal Democrats who are, who are in favor of open borders. So how can you expect more scrutiny on somebody who comes in on a K-1 visa? We've got to have a mindset, a sea change, and it has to happen politically. That's the only, that's the only way we're going we're to solve this thing. 
And, and Mr. Wilds, very quickly, about 30 seconds, you know, one of the problems people say is garbage in, garbage out. You can have all the screening in the world. They're talking particularly about Syrian refugees. But as you pointed out yourself, if there's no database, if there's no reliable information, a screening isn't going to work. You're right, Chris. And the sad thing is that there isn't the seamlessness, whether it's our intelligence services, military or otherwise. We need to be that proactive on this issue. Immigration is the fuel of our economy, the family reunification, and the very reason our founding fathers came here. We can't allow these terrorists Gentlemen, to stop us from doing this. Amen. Gentlemen, we're going to have to leave it there. Mike, Thanks, Mr. Wilds, thank Pleasure. you both very much.